Hi, I am Josh, and today I am going to be reorganizing all of my bookshelves, which I just recently moved around. So during the pandemic, I've moved my shelves, I think, three different times. First back in May, and then again in August, after my floor flooded, and I had to move everything out and then move it all back in. And every time I have recorded or vlogged that experience, and then every time, I never edit it and I never publish it. Now this time, I didn't vlog my time moving the bookshelf because I wasn't even sure if I would keep it the way it is. I got an extra bookshelf, so I wanted to rethink about how I organized everything, and now I have. Now I have two different corners of shelves, this one being one, I'm very happy with it, right by the window. But with this new organization of shelves, I want to reorganize or rethink my layout of the actual books. What you're looking at now are my two primary red shelves. However, these have been plenty space for me to sort of move the books as I read them from my TBR shelf over to here. And the basic way in which I organize my books is I split my TBR from my red shelf and then between those two, I'll split them up by genre. And that's all what you see here. But as I continue to read more, I continue to have less space for all my stuff. In fact, there are some books that aren't on the shelf that I've had to move to other shelves. Now that we have this new organization, I want to rethink my layout of books. I actually think I might end up removing my nonfiction books to like a new shelf all by themselves. And I figured, why not share that experience? You can watch me as I decide to reorganize everything. And hopefully this time, this time I'll finally <laughs> edit it and publish it for y'all to share. Third time's the charm, right? Okay, so let's just start by taking a look at my current red shelf this is just how it's currently organized what you just saw me in front of you have my horror on the bottom and then you have sci-fi fantasy and then we turn into nonfiction. and then this is moving over to my tbr shelf ignore the books on top that's because i'm moving shit around but this is general fiction historical and ya fiction then move on to another red shelf the only other red shelf i think i have which is my general like epic fantasy and ya series stuff that i'm not as concerned about advertising on video then moving on to my new shelf here which i just put took a bunch of stuff that was on my top of the other shelves and put them here in the meantime but those are other books now this was a shelf i have all my fantasy all of my horror and all of my science fiction on and uh, for the most part, I'm just going to move in about a bit. Now over here we have my Classics Red and Classic TBR, as well as board games and my anti-racist TBR. Moving over to history and other uh, types of uh, general nonfiction, such as science and philosophy. Now let's see me reorganize my TBR shelves. I cut out a lot of footage here where I was really indecisive about what to do. How to approach it is a big, a big task to be trying to handle. And I'm still <laughs> contemplating here, aren't I? <laughs> oh Lord, what am I doing? Where to start, where to start? Okay, let's just do this. Stephen King, it's the most worthless stack of books I have. Let's put it to the side. So, oh, not in the way, Josh, you're in the way. Come on, you can do better than that. There you go, good job, Josh. Okay, what now? What now? Oh, here we go. I'm going to take our anthologies and our Atwood and Toni Morrison. Just put it aside for now. And this stuff here is a generalized TBR for the coming months that I have set aside, but I haven't decided yet that I just moved aside. Okay, so I'm taking my classic TBR and I decided I'm gonna let it be on this new shelf. That's where it's gonna be. One shelf down. Okay, okay. I have an idea. Let's move my general fiction over here because that sort of meshes to classics in my mind. Of course, I'm realizing they're not all going to fit here, but I could do a stack of historical fiction and thought I'd let it bleed into the general fiction, as they tend to do anyways. I do a lot of 
trying to fit stuff in and then taking it out and starting over. But don't worry, I trimmed it down a good deal so you don't have to see the in-between takes. More classics. Lord, a lot of classics. I should probably start reading them, shouldn't I? Just doing some finalization for my historical fiction shelf. I think these are my no, these are my Maya Angelou and Toni Morrison's. They don't quite fit into classic or into historical fiction, so I sort of set them to their own side because I don't know why, but I consider them sort of a literary historical fiction slash classical conundrum of books. So I had to keep them together for whatever well, for one reason or another. And now you can see my my back fat sweater that doesn't fit. <laughs> Luckily, you can't notice that when I'm sitting down. This is my February TBR that I had set aside. For now, I'm just throwing it away to the side so I figure out where I want to put it. I'm curious if people keep a stack of TBR books or if they just pull straight from the shelf. And I just removed my red classic books. What is this? I do not know what these books are. Oh, this is a Thrillers. I guess that fits. Thrillers fit with historical and general fiction, generally speaking, and they're right next to the horror, so it really works out. I'm so creative. <laughs> I'm watching this like a few weeks after I'd done this, more like a month after. I think it makes more fun commentary. Lazy me, putting my YA fiction on the bottom shelf both because they are less important to me, but also because they sort of fit with these genres. Now I got to clean this shelf off of my anti-racist books, because I want them to be with the non-fiction books when I eventually get to them. Which means I had to move my February TBR yet again. I was not thinking that through. <laughs> Debating on what to do here, but I ultimately decide I want this dark brown shelf to be all fantasy. As you can see, I'm putting my epic fantasy series on the very bottom shelf. So I'm trying to keep those together. There's like a, a general method to my madness, but not like a too obsessive. It's more like a need to get just right feeling of it being right, not like an ob objectively right way of doing it, just like it feels right. Like deciding, do the whites go together, just because they blend better that way, or do the heights work better? And ultimately, as you can see, I felt like the white covers should be there first. See, nope, nope, I decided nope. It's too important for me to have the dark for the tall books together. Except now I have to put the darker books next to that one because it just seems to mesh better. So don't ask me why my mind works this way. I have a lot more series books, a lot of them were standalones, so I'll put those on the second shelf. They're still series, but not really epic fantasy. I'm not sure what that is. I think I'm trying to figure out what these books are, if they're series or not. A lot of fantasy books. There's a reason I read a lot of fantasy, sci-fi, and horror. 
because I want a lot because I like them. Now I'm moving my fan oh, sorry horror down to where my fantasy was. I have a few stacks of horror here. Don't forget my Stephen King set to the side. Generally speaking, I want the books that I'm more more excited for closer to eye contact. You can see now moving my Stephen King down at the bottom for that very reason. And now what do I do? Well, got to move my other horror shelf down to meet them. Because I have to have all my horror shelves touching each other. <laughs> that is one thing I cannot avoid. And these are just my little figurines. Which you don't really usually get to see on my videos because I don't tend to film in front of my TBR shelves. I thought about doing like book hauls on front of these shelves because it's sort of more fitting that way. These are science fiction books. No, they're not. They're fantasy. What's wrong with me? I still have that whole stack below that shelf. Also, real, I think what it was is I didn't realize I had so many more series to go. So putting my non-series on top. And then figuring out which one of these little left that are series. And just like that, they actually fit very well. This is the perfect fit. I think I'm trying to figure out which book is first. I noticed that I, those two books, the same series, very different editions. I was very mad at myself. It bothers me extremely that the different editions so much. You have no idea. Now these are my fantasy-ish anthologies. More fantasy books. Now that I had more space, I can sort of spread my science fiction out more before I had them more stuck together because I had so much of it and not enough space. Generally speaking, I will keep like the more exciting ones that I'm more excited for, that is, closer to eye contact, but I also care about size and I have a lot of big science books, so science fiction books. I tend to put those above just because they blend. You see me trying to get stuff equal size. The thing is I want my authors together, but I also want books of the same size together. But generally speaking, authors will prioritize over size and color. Okay, now we're on to my red YA and fantasy sort of series shelves. This uh, is not going to be here anymore. Because this is meant to be my TBR corner. And I'm not sure what to do with them. So right now I'm just throwing them to the side. Out of my way so I can organize this shelf. One thing at a time. Okay, moving my history here. <laughs> then history will lead into my autobiographies and memoirs. The problem is my autobiography, autobiographies and memoirs, there's a large piece of them that are very historically oriented. So I struggle with how to prioritize those. Should I put them all together with the memoirs? Or should I put the memoirs that are historical with the history? There's also the problem of certain situations not all fitting on the history shelf. And I do not show you here, but I end up having a lot of indecision, indecisiveness for these two shelves. But I promise you, I will show you what is generally the final product. 
I didn't make you spend the hours that I did <laughs> trying to figure it out. I was getting warm, so I opened the window. As you can see, I took my sweater off because it was too warm. Then I got too cold because the window was open. <laughs> so I put this sweatshirt on. Cleaning off my red shelves. Up there are my TV, or my nonfiction books. I think I mentioned before at the beginning of this. I want my nonfiction books to be on the same shelf with each other. And eventually I'll have an entire shelf dedicated to nonfiction. That's the dream. But spoiler alert, I don't have quite enough just yet read. At least not on these tall shelves. Now one thing I'm doing here is I'm moving my general fiction and my historical fiction and my thrillers to this black shelf, which has hitherto been a TBR shelf for those genres and I'm actually very satisfied with the final product when we get there because these books are less important to me generally I lost a lot of footage I had to uh, just sort of show you what I did here you see my science books my philosophy books that are below these books that we're showing you now I realized that I didn't have enough room for my anti-racist books which I consider sort of semi-historical history politics books so I wanted to make room for them and I did that by moving my history books to the top shelf doesn't look that great but it makes all my general nonfiction books fit on one shelf which I'm very happy with Now I'm moving from the TBR shelves over here to this other shelf that I recently bought-ish, like last, over the uh, beginning of the pandemic. I wanted a new shelf, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so it was a cheap one. And I've decided to move my bigger series here because they sort of would be together again, but also not too overtly in your face, because honestly, I don't care about a lot of these that much. Some of them I've read a long time ago. I also don't want to get rid of them. Like I said before, the ones that I really care about, I want to be on my main shelves. My one Game of Thrones book. I have the first four Harry Potter illustrated books. I had started buying the Harry Potter themed house editions and then I decided to stop doing that. The same with the illustration books. I would like them illustrated, but I'm going to be more patient from now on and buy them used. I, uh, I had to do some reckoning with personal responsibility and the money I put, my, I put towards things. Aragorn, I'm not even sure if I read the third book. I, I feel like I did, but I couldn't remember. So I went in and bought it at Goodwill. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Poppy War and the Three Body Palm here. These are series that. Oh, yeah, these are actually series I really like. Spoilers, I'm not going to stay there. Oh, look, how did I know that? Because I've done this before. <laughs> I realized there wasn't enough room, but also I like them to being in shot. Now the Pierce Anthony's series, The Incarnation of Mortality, I love that series. I read it in like high school. I, uh, I don't know if it would hold up, 
but uh, I read it like two or three times, and I loved it at the time. It was very structured, very predictable, but also this really fun Greek mythology mixed with the real world. Here we are to my Dare and Shane books. The biggest thing about this new orientation is I can't make them central to everything because I do love Darren Shane. Not as much as I once did, but my memories of him and my love for him is what I really hold on to. Like I went to see him when I was 18 for my 18th birthday in Miami. I lived in Georgia at the time and it was just <laughs> really a big decision for me to just put all that money towards going to see one author. Such a great experience. So exciting. He signed all of them. I even waited in line just so he would sign them. I didn't want to make everybody else wait. And I asked him if he would sign it, and he said, yeah, see, there's a signature. All of them personalized. And it was just so kind of him. He was so great. And this is the general final product with a few tweaks, but... This is my red history and horror... Now I'm organizing my red shelf of fantasy and stuff. I like to have my fantasy and science fiction together, but it's a question of what I want to highlight in the view. And right now I'm just struggling with which books to put on top, which to put up lower down. My idea at the top would just be general series or books in either genre, science or fantasy, that are less important to me. There's a great deal of indecision. My initial idea here was to try and fit all of my science fiction, all of my fantasy on this one shelf with my horror. As you can see to the left, that's a whole shelf of science fiction though. And it's going to be tough to make it fit because I also like to highlight books. I like to have book enough room to let my books covers, one of my book covers show. That also means that I have room for that shelf to grow. As I read more books, I can push the books closer together. For now, I'll leave it there. I like the science fiction, touching my science. Nonfiction is on the left. And the nonfiction science transitions into memoirs and autobiographies, which then transitions into more history and historical autobiographies and politics. And now that's three shelves. I'd love for the entire shelf to be nonfiction, but give it time, I suppose. Asking myself which books I want to highlight. As you can see, I wasn't satisfied with the final conclusion, so I decided to move my science fiction shelf to below this science nonfiction shelf because they're still touching that way and it leaves room to move some of the books I want to highlight in this lower shelf. And what I'm doing is somewhat problematic to me because I am mixing my fantasy and science fiction and it kind of hurts, but it's also important to me that this is like my sensual shelf as viewing purpose goes for when I'm filming.
and I just moved my Greek mythology or other types of mythological books up there with my general fantasy and sci-fi. Now these bottom two shelves, got to do something with them. And now I'm putting my classics here. Notice my classics are all a mesh of stuff. Horror, sci-fi, technically they could all go on the respective shelves, but to me classic is more important. I'm deciding where I want to put my Dr. Seuss books. There are a few that I have. And then these are some general TBRs that I have set aside for future months or future video ideas. They are very subject to change. The one of the rights actually space related for that buzzword thought coming up. And there's an Alice in Wonderland themed one. And then I realized I didn't have room for everything as I still have my March TBR I want to put here. This is just showing sort of a final view of my TBR on the left, oh, on the right, and my red stuff on the left. And then this is usually where I put my monthly TBR, the one that I'm currently reading. And then as I read them, I'll tend to lay them down flat besides it, beside it. That's how I keep checking my monthly TBR. Showing you again this area. I don't like this setup of my wands, but I also paid a great deal for them and I want to show them off. I feel like they fit better on my other shelf, but look at the final product here. I really like this. The little dining room table, that's just my January TBR waiting to be filmed. It's not usually there. My TBR shelves next to the piano. It's not my piano, it's my landlord's. I live in a basement. My TBR shelf, no, I'm sorry, my red shelf, damn it. I've said it so many times. More red shelf with my current monthly TBR. Moving on to my TBR corner. Little nook here. You can see my final setup and everything. Some tweaks from when you last saw it. A lot of classics there. And then again, moving here for a final view of my TB other thing. Hi, I am exhausted. This took a longer than I thought it would. I basically spent all weekend organizing these bookshelves, but it's done. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely comfortable with everything because before everything was together. Like now I have my science fiction sort of split between here and here and up there, but it is what it is for now and I'm gonna let it settle because now it at least has some order that makes more sense for the current configuration of the bookshelves. I hope you all enjoyed this. I also hope that I managed to get it edited because I can already tell it's gonna be a lot of footage to try and deal with. But I don't know, I think it's fun. I hopefully you enjoyed the process. Uh, let me know what you thought and if you enjoyed this and maybe I'll do it more often instead of just once a year. Thanks so much for watching and hope you all have a great day and goodbye. Mm -hmm.